Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you can click the subscribe button and stay for a while. I upload three times a week, get ready with me, so show my stash, turn on your makeup. If it's beauty or makeup related, I will be posting it. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell from the title of the video, my order from Dior is here. I got the foundation stick, the contour stick, the duos blush highlighter, and the, I think it's contour powder and highlighter. We'll see once I get into the products. So I'm pretty excited. A lot of new Dior products. I am in a tiny bit of a time crutch, but I really wanted to film this so that I can post it for you all tomorrow in case you're waiting to see more reviews before you decide if you want to pick anything up or not. So if you want to hear my thoughts on these new Dior products, then just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, my lovelies. Um, apologies if I sound like I'm rushing and that's because I am. It's been a crazy day. <laughs> um, we've been at the dentist all day with my oldest. She has apparently more than just a couple of cavities and she's going to need dental work done. They gave me a prescription for amoxicillin because apparently in one of the cavities, it's so deep that it's starting to create a cyst and it's irritating her nerves, which is why she's been complaining about the toothache. And I just gave you a deposit and it's going to be a lot of money. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start, of course, with the foundation stick because as you could see, I don't have any foundation on. I went in Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum, uh, the Chanel Healthy Glow, and then the Refi for my T-Zone. It's a blurring primer. Okay, so here is what the outer packaging is, the standard packaging. I don't know if Dior has had a stick foundation before. I haven't been dipping into the brand for, I think it's been two years, maybe three, I'm not sure. Anywho, uh, the Dior Forever Skin Perfect yeah, multi-use foundation stick. <laughs> 18 shades available. I 100% think that they should have added more to that. Uh, 2.5 neutral is the shade that I purchased and it retails for $52. I'm on the Dior website, which is where I purchased everything from. The multi-use Dior foundation stick that delivers a natural blurred finish with 24 hour wear and all day hydration. The buildable coverage effortlessly evens out your complexion to reveal a flawless look in a single step. A makeup skincare hybrid Dior Forever Skin Perfect lets your skin breathe while providing continuous hydration. The soft, lightweight texture blends easily, seamlessly, fusing with the skin for a barely there feel and 24-hour comfort. I will not be using this for 24 hours. So when this was delivered, uh, let's see, it has a... My allergies are killing me today. It's... Seems like stress. It doesn't have a, a shelf life. Why? It's made in Japan, um, but I don't see a shelf life on the actual box. I don't know if I'm missing it. So here is what the component looks like. The top is silver and then the little logo. This came yesterday late afternoon. It was pretty warm. And I think this is a refillable, I don't know, but this thing came off. It does have the logo on top of the foundation stick. Let me go ahead and swatch it. So there is 2.5 N. Okay, we're gonna start with this side. I don't think anywhere on there I read what kind of finish, just that it's hydrating, um, but it did glide on pretty seamlessly and it is blending actually fairly easy. This is the Sonia G Jumbo Base. I know some foundation sticks, the formula can be a little bit more tough to blend out because it is in a stiffer like stick form, but actually this is blending out nicely. It does have the typical Dior scent if you don't like that. Ooh. Okay, I feel like it's almost doing like a powder-like finish. Like it looks like a powder, like a half maybe a powder on. 
Okay, I was going to do a sponge just in case I didn't like or I felt it difficult to blend out with a brush. But no, it's blending out perfectly fine with the brush, no issues. Oh my goodness. So if you do CrossFit, today the CrossFit Games started, the 2024 CrossFit Games. Um, first event, I think it was the first event. It was like a triathlon style workout. And apparently one of the athletes drowned. I don't know the details, but um, yeah, with the dentist, finding out how much we have to spend on my child's teeth, hearing about that news and waiting for updates. I mean, I'm like, my stress level is like, <laughs> yeah. Okay, but this looks very pretty. Very, very pretty. Oh yeah, here let me blend out the swatch. Oh yeah, so you blend it and it does feel like it turns to a powder-like texture. I like that so far. I'm enjoying it. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And I think 2.5 is a good, decent match. Maybe a little bit light, but I'm not mad at it. Okay, I did go in to the Dior Skin uh, forever concealer 1.5 n is the shade I have I honestly wish I had shade 2 but um, I'm not going to purchase another one just because I have a shade that too light for my liking as you could see it still looks pretty nice I do enjoy that I think it's a good concealer they did a fabulous job I do also have uh, the other DR part of the glow line I don't like that one it's too dry okay on to the next product the dior forever skin contour stick a sculpting and bronzing face stick okay so number one absolutely love that they chose the words sculpting and bronzing which to me means that they have both warm tone shades and more cool tone for sculpting kind of shades that are provided in this product. Granted, there's only four shades and I honestly feel like it should have been five or six, but that's just my personal opinion. $47 on the Dior website. The first Dior Forever contour stick that blends easily and seamlessly with the skin for a naturally sculpted or bronzed effect with 24 hour wear and hydration. Layer Dior Skin Contour over your Dior Forever foundation to achieve a streak free finish as the creamy textures fuses with the skin. Sounds delightful, doesn't it? Okay, I purchased the shade 02 Tan. I'm kind of regretting not purchasing the third shade that looks a tiny bit more like a contouring kind of shade this one for sure is a warm tone shade again no expiration date made in japan as well uh, same packaging as the foundation as far as the box goes but when you take it out this one has a matte finish and then the logo is all black which i like it does have the same top as the foundation but i do love the fact that you can tell the difference between the two products there is the shade let me swatch it Ooh. okay that looks a tiny bit darker than i anticipated Okay, so I think I'm only going to use it on one side because we do have the powder for this side. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> because this is warm, I think I'm going to use it more as a bronzing stick than a contour stick. See how that, it almost has like a warm olive tone, doesn't it? Which, uh, this is the F4 from Makeup by Mario. Okay, but that did blend out super easy. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. I am not going to lie. I was not thrilled about the shade options. Only because I probably could have gotten away with shade one, the fair, as a contour. Um, but I didn't want to get shade three because it looked like it might be too dark. But I think this is looking really pretty as a bronzer. Okay, so I did powder one size and ultra pink for my under eyes and the RMS loose powder for the rest of my face And as you could see the cream bronzer 
contour, whatever you want to call it, is still peeking through a tiny bit, which is nice. Let's go ahead and blend it out and see. Okay, yeah, it's it does feel like it turns to a powder-like consistency. Okay, and now for the Rouge Blush Color and Glow. This includes both the blush and the highlighter and the bronzer, contour, and highlighter. So four different blush highlighter duos and then two different tones for the, gosh, I don't know if it's a bronzer or a contour, but the one I purchased is 100 Diorissimo. That is the lightest shade out of the two. Pretty sure I'm going to think that they probably should have given us more shades in this particular duo. Okay, so the Rouge Blush Color and Glow is the Dior makeup duo that brings together a matte powder, either a blush or a contour, okay, contour, and a highlighter. The powder textures blend seamlessly with the skin and depending on whether you choose the blush or contour, deliver a blush and glow or contour and glow effect for effortless natural makeup looks. Each multi-use rouge blush color and glow face palette pairs two shades, one buildable intensity matte to add color and structure, and one highlighter infused with multi-dimensional pearlescent pigments to illuminate the skin with spectacular light. Okay, retails for $50, and it's the same packaging. I do own two of the blushes, the single blushes, except I can't find them. <laughs> And here it is. All we get is the two pans, which I feel are pretty big. If it were up to me, I don't think the highlighting pan would be as big as it is, just because that's one of the things that I go the least through. It does have the typical Dior scent, so if you don't like that, you're not gonna like it. Okay, let me go ahead and swatch both of them. I hope this light shade works on me as far as the contour. Um, Let's do it here. That's the contour <laughs> and that's the highlighter. Okay, the contour you can barely see worries me a tiny bit. And I don't know if it's going to look like an actual contour on my skin. Okay, so the contour and the highlight. All right, I was going to get pictures of these, but it's too late now. <laughs> and I'm in a rush. Okay, 12 month shelf life. So these do have the shelf life on them. Yeah, the foundation stick and the contour stick do not have in the sticker the shelf life. And this was made in Italia. So this is the side where I don't have the cream bronzer on. This is a Sonia G Classic Cheek. This is a brush that is fluffy but also a tiny bit dense at the same time and i feel like with this kind of formula which feels like it's very hardly pressed i might have to really dig into this to actually be able to see on my skin tone yeah for sure 100 percent we should have at least gotten three tones because there's only two and i highly doubt like if i really have to build this up and I'm light medium, so probably perfect for fair to light, but light medium, probably the second darker shade. So then that leaves like those who are tan and deep with nothing, you know? Okay, it's slowly building. Very, very natural. And I would not say this tone is a contour or sculpting shade on me myself. And I, it's more of a bronzer really, which I already have in a powder form. <laughs> Maybe I should have gone with the second one. That was my bad. I just wasn't sure. Also, I feel like the highlighter, I knew that I wasn't going to enjoy the highlighter in the second tone, right? Like that to me is not a contouring or sculpting tone on my skin. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. This side is just the powder contour. In this side, I did put some on top 
So I think when I use this duo, it'll probably be with the cream bronzer underneath, just because I prefer what I see on this side than I do on this side. I just, I really have to build it up. There is the swatch. I did pull out my other two bronzers from Dior. This is the Dior Forever Natural Bronze Glow 032 Pink Bronze. So this is the one that has the uh, stripe of blush in there. Since I feel like this one has just a tiny bit of pink in it. Okay, no, yeah, this is more warm than this one. So against that, you can see that maybe it's a tiny bit more on the cool tone side. But on me, like once you actually put it on, well, maybe in neutral. I don't know. You all tell me. I'm pretty sure I have another bronzer somewhere. <laughs> this is the uh, Dior Forever Natural Bronze, but this is part of the limited edition uh, Dior Riviera. I don't, I don't remember which particular collection, but I did pick up 006 Amber Bronze. It's one shade darker than the other original that I have because I do have to build, I think, shade five a tiny bit. There it is. So this is the new one from the duo. This is the one that's like the blush and highlighter and bronzer all in one. And then this is the regular bronzer. Just the formula is different. Soft, powdery. The duo I feel is silky soft. Okay, now we're gonna jump in to the highlighter. I think I'll use this highlighter on this side and I'll use the blush one on this side. It looks like your typical champagne off gold kind of tone which is usually what i gravitate towards too okay i have seen a couple of reviews on these and maybe it's the blush one but i did hear someone complain about glitter in the contour duo i don't see glitter i don't see any type of glitter which is good i do enjoy dior highlighters i own two different tones and love them Oh yeah, you see that? So pretty. I don't even have blush on, but it's fine. Okay. Lovely, lovely. Okay, and now for the blush that I picked up. Uh, so basically, the same exact description because um, they were all kind of bundled into the same category, just the tones. You have to pay attention to the tones. If you go to the Dior website, the first four are the blushes and the last two are the contour slash highlighters. Again, retails for $50. And the shade I picked up is 257 Dior Rivera. Yeah, it doesn't give a description of the shade. 100% I went by the highlighter because a blush, I can pretty much make it work. The highlighter, if I don't enjoy it, I'm not picking it up. <sighs> Same packaging, 12 month shelf life, made in Italia. And there it is. Like I mentioned, I do own two single blushes from Dior, but I cannot find them. One of them, actually both of them, just kidding, were the special edition. So one of them is like a very bright, coral orange and the other one is some metallic finish i do not enjoy that one because of the cool tone mauve because of the mauve tone and it's more of that like cool tone mauve because of how metallic it is it almost makes me look like i have a bruise on my cheek so i don't pick up those blushes often and probably why i have no idea where they are <laughs> okay but here it is typical dior scent i will keep saying that because there are some people that are very sensitive about the scent uh, oh that looks a tiny bit chalky maybe just the swatch hopefully it'll look different on the cheek oh okay so as i'm swatching the highlighter i can feel the glitter that's crazy Okay, so hopefully this blush does not look chalky on me. Does it have sheen? Maybe it just that's how light. Yeah, so for sure the highlighter has tiny micro glitter specks. Not sure about how I feel about that. Okay, so this is my Sonia G Soft Cheek. And I'm going to dip into the blush. Okay, picked up good pigment. Okay, 
does not look chalky, but I feel like if I was a tad bit darker, it just might look ashy and chalky. This formula definitely feels different than the single blushes that I have. Okay, so the blush is actually looking really, really pretty. I feel like it's giving me that baby doll kind of look, which right now I think people are calling it the boyfriend blush. All of these trends already existed in the past. Okay, now we're gonna jump in to the highlighter, which I have a feeling I'm not really gonna like. This is the MY3 from Danessa and My Kid Co. Oh yeah, you can see the glitter on the texture on the actual pan. Let's see how it looks on the cheek. Okay, yep. Yeah. You can see the glitter. It's everywhere. Um, it's not too, too bad, but not my favorite. I am not, this is not. I think 100% the brush you use is gonna depend on how much you can see of the glitter. This Danessa is working well, but I think if you use a super huge fluffy brush, kind of like the shape of the one that Jacqueline used to rave about, I don't know if that's gonna be the best brush for this formula because you can see the specs, but not too bad. Like even though I don't enjoy glitter in my highlighter, this does not look absolutely horrible. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so I have a swatch here of the new one. This is the Forever Couture Luminizer. This is the very first, was it? Yeah, the very first highlighter I purchased. And as you could see, it's very well loved. Formula, 100%. So different because it doesn't have that glitter. Oh yeah, see how this one almost looks like it's melting into the skin and this one looks like it's just sitting on top. I love this formula from Dior, it's beautiful. This is the 002 Coral Cruise. This was part of a limited edition, I think. And as you can see, it's also a very loved highlighter. This formula of the 002 Coral Cruise feels pretty much the same as the other one. Okay, so they are different, but more than likely on the actual cheek, they would look very, very similar. All right, so here is the highlighter from the blush duo. And there is the highlighter from the contour duo. I 100% prefer this one. Highlighter formula, that is. This one does not have the glitter, this one does. Okay, let me go ahead and finish everything off camera. I'll be back, we can talk real quick, and then we can end this video. Okay, one minute. All right, my lovelies. Uh, I totally forgot that I needed to do a wear test and a check-in for this Dior stick foundation. <laughs> it's been a good day to do a wear test for it because I've been out in the heat and I also ran in this makeup, which if you know, if you follow me on Instagram, I hate, absolutely hate exercising and makeup because when you sweat, your pores open up nice and wide. I finished applying foundation at around 11.30 and it is now 8.33. So a nine hour wear test and this is what it's looking like. Like I said, I was outside in the heat. It was probably 98, maybe 100 degrees. No, weather went down because we did get a little bit of a thunderstorm yesterday. So it was probably closer to like 88, 89 degrees. And this is what it's looking like. I, like I'm looking in the mirror in front of me and I think it looks really good. Okay. It feels good. I do know when I was out in the heat, it did feel just a tiny bit sticky, but now that I'm not, you know, sweating, it looks and feels good. So, wear test went great. And I'm excited to keep using this. By the way, my shower is on because I need to take a quick shower. I will keep 
trying all of these new Dior items, which I already mentioned, but just reminding you. Let me go ahead and hand you on over to the video. Okay, bye. All right, my lovelies, face is nice and done. Let me tell you what else I have on my face. For eyebrows, I went into the Gucci Pearl Pencil ABH uh, Lamination Gel, and then Ilia Mascara for the lips. I have on the Old School Lip Liner Formulation from Natasha Denona in L6, that's the shade. And the new uh, Weightless Water Lip Tint or Stain from Ulta Beauty. It's the orange one, Spicy Mango, I think it's the shade. I do have a first impressions on that lip product on my channel already. Okay, so let's go over everything. The foundation. I actually, out of everything that I tried today, this is the one that kind of impressed me. The blendability of this is honestly really, really nice. It's, it's dreamy. It's dreamy. And I'm going to have to compare this against Tom Ford. I think out of everything that I've tried today, the number one thing that I would recommend is the foundation stick. I do wish that they would work on the shades because I do feel like 2N to 3N, it's a huge jump and that's the only reason why I did not pick up 3N. But looking at my complexion now, I think I could have gotten away with 3N. I just, I feel like they need to work on the shade range and also the jumps on the shades. Okay, the contour and bronzing stick. I'm actually really enjoying this. Now again, this is only first impressions. So I'm excited to keep using this and see if it's going to become a favorite cream bronzer formula. The shade I got, which is 02, is more of a warm bronzing tone. I would say the shade one and shade three are a little bit more on the cool tone side. So if you're looking for a contour, maybe look at those shades. But for me, this works perfect as a bronzer. And as you saw, it's even though it blends nice, I do feel like it's pigmented. It. So do tread softly if you're lighter than I am. Okay, as far as the duos. So the blush and highlighter duo. I do think the blush is really, really pretty, but I don't think it's anything special if you have a huge Dior collection. I don't, and that's the only reason why I told myself, okay, you can buy the blush and highlighter duo. You have two blushes. Out of the two, you only enjoy one. The other one you barely touch. Like, it's fine. Get the duo. But I do not enjoy... Well... It's not that I don't enjoy, it's just I wish they wouldn't have added glitter to this. But I can see because this is part of the same line, it's just more contouring shades. So maybe they didn't wanna give you the same highlighter formula in case you did pick up both like I did. So that's like my logic behind it. They might have done that because if you pick up a contour shade and a blush shade, then you won't have the same formulation as far as the highlighter goes. With that being said, it is, okay as far as a highlighter. I enjoy this, but I would say maybe you don't need it. <laughs> that, that would be my final answer. <laughs> okay, the powder, contour, and highlighter. I do enjoy this. This formula is really nice, but if you have bronzers from Dior, then I don't think you need this. I have bronzers, and even though, yes, like once I compared this shade to the other ones that I have, this is more leaning neutral on my skin tone, but against the other ones, yes, I could see this, why this is called a contour, but um, I just don't think they give us enough shades. Two shades is not enough to cover the whole skin color spectrum that there is out there. It's just not. Uh, the highlighter formulation is really, pretty oh my goodness really really pretty and um oh i did not compare this to my other two i would say it's pretty similar to the like the permanent line highlighters that they have like you can see in the finish i like this i enjoy this um i wish they give us more colors i do have to really build this up but i think if i mix the cream bronzer with this on top it'll work just fine definitely gonna get a lot of use out of me so up to you whether you think you need it, but if you have like a good amount of bronzers from Dior and a good amount of highlighters. Now having trying this, I don't think I would have purchased it if I can go back. Okay, and that's it. That's it for this full on Dior video, which is great because I have to go. <laughs> all right, my lovelies, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea all the comments, all the likes. If you use my links to shop, it truly means the world to me. Uh, apologies if, well, one, I was rushed. <laughs> too. Um, it was a stressful morning. There's a lot going on in the world. So apologies if I'm just not sounding like myself or like maybe I've got a lot on my mind. I do, but 
it's okay. I just hope that you all have a good, strong support system. Like I do, because I definitely feel like when I feel like this, talking to someone really helps me out. I'm sending you all my love, my prayers, everything your way. And if nobody has told you today, you are awesome, you are a legend, you are doing absolutely amazing, and you matter in this world. With that being said, do not forget to give the video a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you all on my next video. Bye.